My money, my body, now your own. It's over your body. What's the budget like in Nigeria? Like, do we need a lot of money to get to? I know that flights are not the cheapest, mm -hmm. but like, can I like vacation in, in Nigeria on a dime? Like, or do I have to be like a rich baller to get there and have fun? Uh, you be good. You be good. You have okay. fun. You'll be okay. You meet a baller there. <laughs> Ladies, we're going, right? Ew, sugar daddy, <laughs> you know that um, my Facebook audience on, in Nigeria is huge. Like, I don't know how it happened, mm -hmm. but I get more interaction in Nigeria than in the United States yeah, on my Facebook. Yeah, Nigeria, they're very, like, when it comes to, like, online stuff, they're very, mm -hmm. very, very... No, so this guy, I don't know if he's legit or not, but he offered me a lot of money to go to Nigeria. And I'm Man. like, I don't know if I want to get stuck in Nigeria with a scammer. <laughs> like, do I go? Do I not go? What do I do? But the, I heard the money is, like, flowing no, in Nigeria. There, there's a lot of money in Nigeria. Um, you know, the only bad thing is that, like, there's no middle class. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're either poor or you're So rich. you're either, like, don't really have money or you're rich. You know what I'm saying? So that's some things that we're trying to work on having the middle class, you know, in Nigeria. So there's not really middle class, but the people that do have money have a lot of money. Mm. Mm -hmm. Trip to Nigeria, ladies. <laughs> All my single ladies. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> so now, musically. Right. Yeah. Um, did you, you did the record with Casanova. Did you, yeah. did you have to convince him to come out there to do the um, video? No, nah, he that? wanted to come himself because I, I did, the, I did the record and then like two weeks later he calls me. He's like, ah, he wants to come to Nigeria. Right. But I wasn't around then, so I was like, you know what, just wait till I get back. So we till I go back. After like four days, he called me. He's like, yo, I'm getting, I got my visa. I'm getting on this flight. Hurry and up. he just came. That's crazy. Yeah, that so video was crazy. Yeah, we shot the video. Crazy. Tori ain't come, though. Tori didn't go? Nah. I didn't even realize he was, he was in the video, though, like in a different scene. Yeah, but they, they made it look like he was there. Yeah, because I was like, wait a minute. I thought Tori was there. But that video is, is so dope. Yeah, Where yeah. is that? Where did they film? Is that like one of the projects I mean, that place, over there? Or how? Yeah, that's one part was this place called Sue Lyric. It's like the hood. We shot that, we shot that one there. And then the other parts were like the better parts and stuff. Are, are you in Miami a lot? or? Uh, not really, you know. The last time I was in Miami, I can't remember. But I don't be in Miami like that. Oh, well, I know but that. I, have, um, I got like two shows coming up. So. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was going to talk Speaking about. Of. Shouts to Skip Marley, Johan Marley, the whole Kaya Fest crew. You're going to be here April 20th oh, for yeah. Kaya Fest with the Marleys. Yes, yeah, it's going to be Doing late. your thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, did, did I, I know like you grew, you were born in Atlanta. I was born in Atlanta and then like, because like back then, African parents, because they didn't want the stress of having to get visas for their kids, you know. Yeah. Like, so a lot of African parents give birth in America and then take the child back to Nigeria. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so that's, that's what, what happened. happened. Yeah. And so then you grew up in Nigeria? I grew up in Nigeria 100%. But I used to come over here, like, on the summer breaks. Okay. But then I came here to stay a bit when I started college. I stayed for three years. Okay. Stayed um, back and forth, Alabama, Atlanta, Alabama, Atlanta. Wait, how is Alabama, like, that's country. country? That's what I was like, how'd you adjust? <laughs> Now, because my parents, they wanted me to focus. They felt like if, if I was in Atlanta, I won't focus. So I went to Alabama. Ooh, in the middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. <laughs> so God. it was, and it was like, a, it, was, it was weird. The only thing that saved me, mm -hmm. it was a boring place, but my neighbor, and that's how everything really started. My neighbor was Jamaica. So you had a Jamaican neighbor and you Crazy Jam Crazy Jamaican Oh, he neighbor. entertained you or you're saying musically, you guys? Everything. Bro, alcohol, everything. Oh. So like so, I had that neighbor. Then we just started hanging out, hanging out. And they used to have this friend that used to record. So I, I would just go to the studio and just scheme, just look, look, look. And then I'd gone back to Nigeria for like two weeks. So when I go back to Nigeria, I was like, damn, the, the entertainment scene in Nigeria was popping. Mm. So I was there. I was like, you know what? I think I want to do this. I think I want to do the music in Nigeria. So I came back, and got my stuff, dipped. We saw we were watching a video earlier of you from year from 2012. Was it? What's the song? Dummy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you look like you're 14. I in was, that video. I was 16. I, was 16. <laughs> I, I was like, you look so young. I was 16, 17. I started young. I've been I've, I've been doing music like 10 years. I'm only 26. So how how does 
different cultures, like in Nigeria, Africa, do you get influenced by different cultures with your music or are you guys like in your own world, own cluster, I mean, making your own sound? Like with me, my own music, I get inspired from everywhere. I mm-hmm. get inspiration from everywhere. But Nigerians are really stubborn. They don't like to say that they are sharing other people's culture. But I feel like everybody eats off each other. Do you understand? Um, like last year, the sound that was raining, the actual sound that was raining was like, it's kind of like Ghanaian sound. Mm-hmm. But Nigerians took it and kind of changed it to their own. So. <laughs> um, my boy Patarankin, I saw yeah. he released a video with you. Yeah. And that song is fire. Yes, that's my brother. Man. I hit him up. I DM'd him. I'm like, yo, you got a song with that? He's like, yeah. And he said he's going to be here. I think tomorrow he's getting here. Oh, for real. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's my brother, so. man. You know, it's not easy, like, pushing this. Um, you know, it's not easy us leaving Nigeria, coming out to push the yeah. envelope, and then, you know, still trying to maintain back home as well. It's not easy. Like, fly a lot, do a lot. You know, because people have been waiting for African music to reach this level. So it's like, you can't even slow down or anything. You just have to keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Do you feel pressure because of that? Like, that, that pressure's on you? I don't feel pressure you? because I have a whole continent. Mm. So my, I have billions of people on them. So it's not like, if it don't work out... Go to the other side. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but, I never thought of it like that. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, you know, we were working hard. Like, we was in the studio last night till 7, you know, before going to the airport. So, and I'm working on a lot of people's albums, too. Because they love my sound. They love, they love the sound. But they don't, they don't know how to do it. A lot of people from here? From here, or, artists. Oh, from here. can you tease us? No, and I wanna, no, I don't want no problems. But, I'm just saying, like, the original sound, like, I've heard it. They've tried to redo it. They can't do it. You know, so... They've gotten us involved. I'm getting producers from Africa to come out here to work with American producers. Wow. So people are eating off of this whole movement. Too. Yeah, because the, back home there's no structure like how you guys have here. You play a song on the radio, you're getting paid. You know, back home there's no structure like that yet. So the producers are not really eating as much as mm. the ones here. So that's what I'm trying to change. Oh, mm. that's awesome. Yeah. Are you still into the production yourself? Um, not because I'm not busy, so not as right. much, but I try to, I always make sure I finalize the mix and I finalize like where to put stuff, but in terms of creating, not as much as before. Cool. Any so. other artists that we should be Googling and, and following their movements that, you know, cause now we know you're, you exist for those that didn't know. I mean, there's, so like, and that's another thing. There's so many of us back home. So what should we Google? Afrobeats or like what? Burner Boy. <laughs> dude named Burner Boy. Uh-huh. Is, there's this dude named Whiskey. Mm. There's this dude named um, Techno. Okay. There's a uh, Kiss Daniels. There's a, there's a there's a couple of people. There's a couple of people that I'm sure <laughs> Paris, <laughs> but I'm sure after like by the grace of God, once we hit number one with this record, yeah, it'll start. To I'm sure like everybody's record's gonna start coming up. So. I yeah. saw a, a girl because when I was looking you up and listening to all your music, a girl Tenny came up. Oh yeah, she's oh, she's Tenny's. fire. Yo, Tenny's fire. And the funny thing about Tenny is that. We grew up in Atlanta together too. So Oh, she's from Atlanta too? Yeah, so she went home well, way after me, but she went home the same way I went home. Got the vibe and mm-hmm, came back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, That's fire. Yeah. So so twenty nineteen, what are we doing? Who um who do you want to collab with that's from like on this side that you haven't with yet? Like is there anybody, any artist you really want to do a record with? Um I would have loved to do a record with um what's his name? J B Triple Um he well, he passed away. Yeah. Oh, Triple X? Yeah. Oh, Extentacion. Yeah, yeah. yeah him. I like Kodak, too. I listen to Kodak. Oh, Kodak. Okay, dope. You got that, that the 954 flavor right here. <laughs> They're both from here. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, um, he's not from Miami, but I'm, yeah, I'm finishing up something for Tori tonight. And then, well, Tori lives here, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Lives here. He's from here. <laughs> we took yeah. him. Forget Toronto. <laughs> He's ours now. <laughs> so a lot of people, even like from Justin Timberlake to Drake to... Um, I'm working with everybody. That's fire. Mm-hmm. What do you feel about French Montana and, and like Drake, how they kind of like took those beats, that vibe? Yeah, yeah I mean, it's mad because it helped us, you know what I'm saying? Because people want to know where's the original so- sound from. Mm-hmm. And... I think from that, people went to research, and then, you know, it just made us bigger. So people felt like, oh, they're taking our sound, but I don't, I don't see it that way. I see it more as a plus on, on our side, you know? I love it. Yeah. 
So what do you else you got coming up? Um, what's up with the album? What's up with yeah, the man, next I'm single? Yeah, man, I'm working on the album. Working on the album, but um, I just did the O2 Arena in London two weeks ago. Sold out. Mm-hmm, Twenty thousand. So yeah, yeah. Crazy. We're, we're trying to do the um, Madison Square Garden next. Oh wow. No biggie, right? Nah, no, no biggie. biggie. <laughs> MSG, okay. But yeah, that's the plan. Do that next job. The album in the summer. <clears throat> um, I'm about to go on tour too. So it's about to be a lot. But um, the main focus now is getting this song to the top. So. Or flying everywhere doing promo, you know. I hate being outside Nigeria. I love being in Nigeria. So. Oh really? Yeah. And, never... But for now, you're gonna be out for a minute, right? Because you're Even here. If, if I have two, bre- if I have two days free, I will take. A, I will take a 15 hour flight home. Wow, really? And stay two days and leave again. Wow. Because I'm just used to being there. So this is like the first time I'm really not going to be in Nigeria for months. So mm. yeah, let me make it work. But again, all of us are going to be seeing you on 420 at the Kaya Fest with the Marlies doing our thing. We are excited because a lot of us have never seen you perform live. That lineup got me. I was so happy when I saw the lineup. Okay, okay. (laughs) It was crazy. It's going to be a shutdown, man. I want to see you and like the Marlies mix that. Yeah, what's up? We should. Hey, they're ready. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, definitely, definitely. I've been in Jamaica all the time with my friend Popcorn all the time. I love Jamaica. Dope, dope, dope. Jim. Where can they follow all your movements, Davido? Uh, Instagram is Davido Official. Twitter, I am I am underscore Davido. YouTube, Davido Vivo. Plenty songs to pick from. I don't know why, but I can't say your name, Davido. Like I can't. I, every time I've been talking on the a radio about it, I've been like Davido, <laughs> Davido. <laughs> yeah, people, it depends like, on your accent. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? Like, you're like, you're, are you from Haiti? I'm Haitian. So you, you're, like, you're like French. So French people say Davido. Davido. Yeah, South, that South, South African people say Davido. Um, East African people say Davido. Nigerians, Davido. So it's just like my name is David, obviously. So as long as you answer when we call you, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah, who we're calling sure, you. Sure. All right, let's show some love for David. Oh!